Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing the weekly challenges that we got. That starts on Tuesday, April the 16th to Tuesday, April the 23rd, 2024. Let's take a look at this week's weekly challenges and see what we got. All right. Look at these here. We got our uh, work cut out for us here. Nice. Nice. Uh, you will notice this one here. Craft or scrap clothing, armor, or a weapon. I did reroll level up three times. Uh, and I got this one here instead. So just an FYI if you notice that there's one that is different than you. And uh, look at this bad boy here. We haven't seen this one here before. Or I haven't anyway for at least a while. And that's been my recollection anyway. Um, let's go ahead here. I have many videos on my channel that will help you guys out give you different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas that were there if you're a brand spring a new player to the game. If you're a returning player, even if you're an experienced player, there's a particular deal that your weekly challenge that's giving you a hard time or trouble. I'm sure I'll find a video on my channel that will help you. I try to keep my videos as updated as I possibly can. And of course, you guys are awesome with the great comments, which is greatly appreciated. Okay, let's uh, go ahead here and start this off. Let's go ahead and build anything in a workshop or camp 25. Now, you will notice I have eight that's done already. It's because we had uh, crafted some in our daily that we had for today, and they counted. So build anything in a workshop or camp. We can claim any old workshop on the map if you so wish, or you can build anything in your camp, and that's what we're going to do here. Uh, now, just an FYI, a lot of people like to wait to add to their camp until these dailies or weeklies pop up. And there's nothing wrong with that. You can do that, okay? Uh, but you don't have to do that. Okay? It's not uh, something that you have to do. Uh, let's head out back here. See, I think I get more root back here. Um, so we can build anything at all. Let's go ahead. We're going to go to our build menu here. Now, I like to kind of craft something that doesn't cost a whole lot of resources because we're going to end up scrapping it anyway, okay? So I just kind of go for a kind of floor decor type of thing, okay? And something doesn't cost a lot, so um, what do we got here anyway? Let's go ahead. We're going to... Uh, I, I, sometimes I recommend floor mats, right? Because floor mats only use, you know, cloth or rubber. And I remember I had uh, a lot of floor mats very early on in the game. Okay, so you can do that if you wish. Uh, let's actually go ahead and see what we got for some easy uh, floor mats here. Okay, this guy here. This guy here is very early on. As you can see, just cloth. And usually cloth and rubber is something that a lot of people will have on them. And not realize they have <laughs> that much on them. We're going to build some stuff here. Because we're just going to end up scrapping it. And this is what I recommend you guys to do. Especially if you don't plan on uh, keeping some of the stuff. Or you can keep it. Whatever you want to do. However you want to play your game. It's up to you. Up to my way there behind me. The main thing is when you scrap it, you're not scrapping something that you don't want to scrap. You know what I mean? Like your house. <laughs> done that before. Been there, did it, done it. Not fun. There we go. Build anything in a workshop or camp 25 for 25. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to scrap this stuff. Hopefully I don't uh, scrap the uh, floor from underneath me here. I think they're kind of warped. See that? That's kind of weird. We get them all? We did. Good stuff. Good stuff, Jim. What's next here, buds? What is next? Weekly challenge. Craft or scrap clothing, armor, or a weapon. 25. So, you can go ahead and find clothing. You can find armor and find weapons anywhere in the game. You know, multiple enemies will have weapons and armor on them. You can find clothing just laying around. Or you can just do it this at your uh, camp and we can craft and scrap clothing because clothing will only cost you cloth at the most point. Let's go ahead here. We're going to go inside here. Uh, let's go to our armor workbench if I can find it. You here? Let's go ahead and go craft. Uh, let's go to uh, outfits here, Jim. What do we got here? All right. Um... Yeah, how about this uh, Blue Devil outfit here? It costs us four cloth for each of them. Let's go ahead. We're going to craft. How many do we need? 25? Let's go. Let's go craft 15 of them. 
Let's back out. See if that counted. It's still the the other one's still trying to catch up. Let's check it this way here, Jim. There we go. Craft a scrap clothing, armor or weapons fifteen, so we just crafted fifteen clothing. And now we're gonna scrap it. A scrap the fifteen. Done. Craft a scrap clothing, armor or weapons, twenty five for twenty five again. You can get a bunch of armor, you can get a bunch of weapons, scrap it that way. You can craft it. You can craft a bunch of baseball bats if you want and scrap it. I just choose clothing because I just happen to have a uh, lot of cloth on me. <laughs> What's next? What is next? Uh, that's pretty much all we can do right here in our camp. Um, drink Duca Cola 25. Let's talk about this for a while. So, as I say, we get this one at least at least once a week guys drink nuka cola collect nuka cola whatever okay um so we can find nuka cola all around the wasteland but a lot of times it's hit and miss because sometimes they're just bottles okay so i highly recommend is having a nuka cola collectron station this bad boy here so this is the og one this is the red and yellow one I had this one for a very long time and he will passively collect different types of nuka cola even the uh, the rare ones like orange and grape and cranberry and such but he'll also collect the odd bottle or two just an fyi okay, but mostly nuka cola products they're worth their weight in gold i have one of these in every single one of my camps okay and that's why one of the reasons why i have so much nuka cola on me because i just collect from them i just go from camp to camp to camp now um sometimes he goes for sale in the atomic shop not right now but sometimes they'll go on sale, usually 500 items on sale for 250. Okay, we had that maybe about a couple months ago, You guys, if you guys remember. Um, if you guys are returning players and you guys are around in Season 11, uh, now these guys will be under uh, resources. Right down here. Uh, if you guys are around in Season 11, there was this Quantum one right here. Um, now he's not too bad, but I find in addition to Nuka Cola products and bottles, he will also collect purified water and nuclear waste. So that's why I prefer the OG one. But if this is all you have, this is all you have. Okay. But he will also collect Nuka Cola products as well. Okay. Um, you can also buy, from what I heard, you can buy the OG one uh, using gold bullion uh, from Samuel down in Foundation. As long as you have a reputation with the settlers of caution. I think it's 1250 gold bullion is what I'm told. Alright, so FYI on that. Um, one of the most popular spots to collect Nuka-Cola products is down here in Nuka World on Taurus. Let's pop down here. It's a free fast travel, of course. That's pretty awesome. And when you fast travel here, you're going to end up right here, normally. Uh, sometimes you'll find one on this picnic table. Uh, now, I like to kind of run along this little path here. And depending on the server, it really does depend on the server that you want. Okay, because I could I could have be on a server and have all kinds of luck. And then you could do it right behind me on your server, or five other servers, and have zero luck. It just depends on the server. So FYI, so this guy here today only has one. Nuka Cola in there. Let's run up here. And this is where seismic activity event happens up here. Now, up here, we're going to have these little kiosks. And again, there's all kinds of uh, Nuka Cola products. Usually just uh, classic and cherries, what you're going to find up here. Here's one right there. Um, just open up each door. You know, look inside. You know, sometimes they're bottles. As again, depends on the server that you're on. Okay, and I'm only saying that because there's a lot of new folks to the game. So open all these up. You know, we see the odd one. Make sure you go inside because sometimes they're hiding in the little cubby holes there. None in here. Today. Okay, and there's one right here. See that one? Um, again, sometimes they're on this. Uh, these two little kiosks. Uh, we got two more machines down here. And... Uh, there's one there now if all else fails okay all else fails and 
you don't have a nuclear cola clock drawn station. Okay. Um, your server hopped 20 times and you literally don't have any luck finding any nuclear cola products. You can buy nuclear cola from a vending machine and they're just down here. But this is your last, last, uh, choice here. <laughs> Uh, usually there's some, usually there's some new cola products on these here too. So these are the vending machines. And you can walk up to them, you can buy what you need. It's gonna cost you some caps, of course, okay? Uh, but then you can server hop, come back, and these will be back, and these will be filled right back up again. And another thing good about these vending machines is they don't tie into Bubbles inventory. Uh, now Bubbles is, um, in White Spring Refuge. In that little store there where the, where Giuseppe is at, where you buy stuff for stamps. Okay, you have that red um, bubbles there. And their inventory does not tie into this inventory. Okay, so you can buy last last resort. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead here. We're going to drink some uh, Nuka Cola products here. And uh, it's going to be a good time. And I got all kinds of them on me, so... Because I'm a little bit of a hoarder when it comes to uh, certain things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hear that guy? There we go. Drink Duke Cola 25 for 25. Now, fun fact. Back in the day, when this daily popped up, when it says drink Duke Cola, it only meant Duke Cola Classic, not the different flavors. But they changed that. It's a, it was a good change, but just uh, just a fun fact for those of you who uh, are fairly new to the game. A bit of oil will fix it. Well, that uh, catches up here. What's next? <laughs> Let's go here. Okay. All right. Let's do this one here. Scrap junk to produce screws fifteen. So we cannot bulk screws at the Tinker's workbench, because as you know, there's a lot of stuff we can bulk and then scrap at the Tinker's workbench as the fastest, quickest, easiest way, but for, we cannot bulk screws. So we That's actually had to find junk items that was gonna give us screws. So desk fans, uh, typewriters, uh, cars, and trucks, like the little toy cars and toy trucks, they'll have screws in them also. Okay, so as you can see, I have seven for 15 done already. It's because I did the daily that we had for today. And uh, where I took you for that daily, uh, earlier on, I uh, was just up here at uh, Grafton Dam. You can check out that video if you so wish. Um, where I'm going to take you here, we're going to go to a couple places, actually. Is we're going to start off uh, right here at the Charleston Capitol Building. So let's pop in here. Now, uh, the only thing, the only downside to this building is it is a little higher level. There's all kinds of ghouls in it, so... If you are a low-level player, you're going to have a little bit of a difficult time, okay? And uh, so, you know, bring a friend, or you can always go on a server, and you can just ask someone, right? If someone asked me on a server, I would definitely help them out, all right? Uh, so right here, Charleston Capitol Building, you know, DMV. Let's pop into here, and there's a little room here on the second floor. There's going to be some typewriters in, and we're going to get those typewriters. All right, and I believe there's a bunch of desk fans in here as well. So we're going to go along through here and uh, clear out these ghouls. Now, I don't think we have anything to do with ghouls here. For our weekly, I wish it did. It would have been nice. Not today. All right, let's go ahead here. Uh, so we're going to be on the lookout for some desk fans because they're just kind of sporadic. And uh, we're going to keep an eye on these ghouls here. That are gonna pop up out of the uh, the f the floor and the walls and such. And uh, just in case you guys are new to the game, uh, ghouls are a good source of gold and silver. Okay, FYI. All right, let's go here. I'm just gonna kind of clear out the area as we go, because if we don't, these guys are gonna be all over us. Grab that fuse there while we're here. 
So here's our first typewriter right here. Don't forget to grab him. And look at these potato crisps there. Can't let those guys go, sure. Uh, I thought there was a desk fan here. Maybe not. Oh, we hear some... Oh, how you doing? He doesn't even see me. See that? He didn't even see me. Grab some other stuff here while we go. Might as well, right? We're just going to keep going. We're going to go through this area and just kind of clear it out. Because if we don't, as I said, these guys are going to be all over us. And that's kind of hard to do when you're making a video. Oh, how you doing? Keep going here. All right, so let's check this little area here. Typewriter right here, perfect. What we got there was that Good stuff. Three caps, love it, love it. Make sure you check the ghouls because the ghouls will have good stuff on them. Might as well do that while you're here, right? I thought there was a desk fade. Look at that syringe. Brand new syringer. I didn't even know it spawned there, actually. That's, uh... That's it. I wonder if that is a spawn point for that. Uh, scissors. I think scissors might have screws in them, too. Let's, we'll bring the scissors with us, just so we can go through it at the end. Take this hot plate. Alright, so that's the, uh, the main floor. We're gonna head upstairs. And this is where I can get a little more hairier, because there's, like, a little bottleneck point here, here at the top. Let's, I just kind of head in this room right away. I don't know where he went. Lock and load, though, because we're gonna have a little parade of guys coming here. There we go. We're fairly close to uh, where we have to be anyway for those typewriters. Always check this room because there might be the odd one that will flank you. Ah, uh, so here's a d desk fan there. Okay. See, this guy here. See how he just kind of pops up out of nowhere? He's like, hey, what about me? Oh! <laughs> Right on there, cat. Right on there. <laughs> this game, I'm telling you, makes me laugh. All right, so here's the little room I was talking about. Okay, here's a desk fan. Right. So here is our uh, typewriters. We're gonna grab these telephones at the same time. Telephones will have copper in them. See all the t see all the typewriters here. Beautiful. Love it. Back in the day, this was a huge uh, screw farm. For a lot of people. And, uh... Yeah, he's back in the wall. He's part of the wall, that guy. So we might be okay here now. But, uh, we... There's, uh, when we go down the in the basement, there'll be a uh, little bench down there. We'll check that out. Ah, uh, there's usually a, a desk fan or a globe. Grab that globe. I think the globe has a screw in it as well. Check that. Fairly certain. All right, let's see what we get on us here. Anyway, this is for junk items. All right, so hot plate, screw, desk fan, screw. So we got one, two, three. Scissors don't.
four, so three, so six, nine. So we have nine on us. Uh, how many more do we need here, Jim? For this weekly. Um, yeah, that'll that'll do. That'll do. We only need, uh, yeah, we only need eight more, so we're good. We're good. Let's head downstairs. And, um... Oh, didn't mean to run there. Now, let's take care of these guys here. So these guys here are gonna... Where's this guy here at? He must be uh, in a slumber there. Nope. Usually there's the odd, uh... Oh, look at that, there's, uh... Two of them in here, nice. That's, uh, yeah, we'll grab them. Might as well start replenishing the stock, right? <laughs> yeah, whatever, Chip. Oh, red bandana, nice. Grab that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that we get loose screws. Beautiful. Sometimes that's not even there. All right, so here's our uh, little workbench here. So, again, it's down here in the basement. Uh, globe. So we got, uh, so actually globe is two screws per globe. So that's pretty awesome. What else we got here? All right, we have this hot plate. We get a screw in there. Uh, desk fan. Each desk fan gives us one screw each. Uh, these typewriters. One typewriter gives us one screw. There we go. Scrap done to give it to produce screws. 15 for 15 done. Again, so we have some of it done already. Oh, there he is right there. See him? He thought he could uh, trick us. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> How can you not laugh at that? Seriously. What's next? <laughs> Uh, so the other place I was actually going to take you um, is uh, right up here at uh, Tyler County Fairgrounds. There's a little stand there, and it has, uh, I think, about four toy cars and trucks in there. Uh, but that'll only give you uh, four screws there. So just FYI, that's uh, that's kind of like a backup spot, I guess. All right, what's next? What else can we do here, Jim? Um, okay. While we are down here, let's go ahead to this one here. Sell a cell launcher to an NPC vendor one. So you're going to ask me, Jim, where am I going to get a missile launcher at, buds? So missile launchers, you'll see them with blood eagles, and you'll see them with mole miners, okay? Uh, once in a while, you'll see missile launchers just kind of randomly spawn, okay? But typically, uh, blood eagles, okay? Usually most Blood Eagle spots, there'll be one person, okay, that's there, that will have a missile launcher on them, okay, FYI, um, with exception to down here, okay. Um, here at the kill box, there's two guys there, they'll have missile launchers on them. Um, in terms of mole miners, right up here in Mononga, I would say... Every, every third mole miner <laughs> has a missile launcher on them. Okay. Down here in Welsh. Right? There'll be at least one guy that has a missile launcher on them. So actually, let's go down to Welsh. We'll actually uh, spawn down here at Welsh Station. And one thing good about this is that there's a train station just next door. Let's go ahead down here. Now, I was going to make a video on this one here by itself. to make a video on it by itself uh but i thought you know what a lot of people will know where a missile launcher is this is more so for uh newer folks um so this is probably your best bet is just get them off of uh other enemies i was wondering what that was uh so again let's go down here there'll be some mole miners down here uh oh 
Is that what I think it is? Yeah, I think that's the, uh... The blue devil. Yeah, he's right there. See him? That's what that was. That cat. See that cat right there? He's dangerous, eh? Thousand <laughs> rounds to kill that guy. <laughs> so you see, getting back to this missile launcher, we're here at Welsh. So a missile launcher to an NPC vendor one. So again, Blood Eagles, at least one Blood Eagle in every area will have a missile launcher. Um, Manga, every third mole miner will have a missile launcher on them. And right down here in Welsh, this cat right here, this glowing mole miner, will have a missile launch on him, guaranteed. Okay? Uh, let's go ahead here. We're going to take care of some of these uh, little friends here. We killed him from there. Perfect. So let's go ahead. We're just going to come here for the missile launcher. And we're going to... Uh, sneak through here and all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take it off his body that's all we're gonna do simple this guy right here missile launcher right there thank you stim pack sure okay so we have our missile launcher on him on us now you can go ahead and try to clear the area if you so wish whatever you want to do we just come for the missile launcher and again that great that uh, glowing mole miner always has one he always has and he still does we just happen to have a train station up here and as it says we can sell it to a vendor npc vendor it can be any vendor bot at any train station okay wherever you get your missile launcher at let's go ahead here we're going to go trade weapons while you can so I'll miss all launcher to NPC vendor one for one. Done. Just like that, guys. Just like that. See, it's easier than you think. Where's that cat out of here? Oh, he's up there. Look at him. He's, uh... He's on the prowl there. Alright. We're not going to bother with him today. I don't have the time of day for him. I got uh, a video to make. What's next here, Jim? <laughs> what is next, old pal? Collect a teddy bear nine, so... I have a video out there, a couple of videos out there showing you some great locations for teddy bears, okay? Uh, one of the best locations for teddy bears is right at the top of the map. Right here at the nice edge, just a little bit to the north, you'll see a red decapitated barn. And there's, I believe, 11 teddy bears up in the little loft. Now, the way that you can get them down, you just throw a grenade at the side of the building and they'll all fall down. And uh, they'll be perfect. Okay. Um, right up here, Clancy Manor. Right, we were just up there earlier for the uh, challenge. And there's uh, three or four of them up there. Right down here in Camden Park. Another great spot for some teddy bears. Uh, another good spot is right up here at Tyler County Fairgrounds. And you will find every type of teddy bear here. Every type. They're, the only thing is that they're just kind of scattered about. Okay. So actually, let's go down here. We are going to Camden Park. And I'll show you where these guys are at. Now, give you a couple options. Now, because we have it as a weekly... Only take what you need. Only take the nine, because if you take more than nine, okay, they're not going to spawn back in unless you plan on resetting the game by picking up 250, 255 items. Okay, so FYI, only pick up what you need. Pop up here. So this dross toss, okay, so there's our four teddy bears right there. Let's go ahead and pick them up there. Two. Three. Four. Okay. Four teddy bears right there. Alright. Next up. We'll head back up here to Clancy Manor. 
Actually, we'll go to Tyler County Fairgrounds. Never mind. Go to uh, Tyler County Fairgrounds this time. And again, every type of teddy bear here we can find. The only bad part is, is that they're all spread about. Spread about, okay? Uh, there are going to be some scorched here as well. So you're actually going to see me do part of this weekly here. Kill a scorched 30. Okay? Alpha's whereabouts are unknown. I repeat, Alpha's location is unknown. We need to find so let's head down this way. Alpha Wolf ASAP. Take out the smaller packs and draw out that Alpha. Just make sure you... There's a teddy bear right there. That big Alpha is a heap of trouble. We're going to head this way. I don't think there's any in here. We're gonna head down to that barn. Sneak down here anyway. And there is gonna be a scorch inside, so we're gonna have to take care of him. That's fine. Here's the teddy bear right here. And canned dog food. Grab that. Thank you, hot dog. Now, it's only teddy bears, okay? These guys, these Mr. Fuzzies, okay? They don't count, okay? As you just saw there. All right, so that's pretty much it for this building. Let's head back up this way. Go through here. We're going to go to this little concession stand here, where there's usually some Nuka-Cola products. And inside here, there's another teddy bear right there. Execution style right there, lock and load, Jim, before you forget. All right, and now we're going to go ahead down this way, because we only need a couple more. And while we're here... Right, these are the, the toy truck, toy car that I talked about for the screws. Okay, the four. But that's only going to give you four screws. And here are the other teddy bears right here. A couple more of them. Right there. There, there we go. We're going to save him for another time. Collect teddy bear nine for nine, done. Again, we have collected all nine here before. I forget how many types of teddy bears there are in the game. I think it's close to like uh, 9 or 10 anyway. But you can collect all 9 here at Tyler County Fairgrounds. You just got to look for them. All right. We have done this before. I would say in a daily week or a weekly challenge. I think it was maybe three months ago. I forget what day it was. But uh, we have collected all 9 right here. Okay, what's next here, Jim? Let's continue on with uh, Kill the Scorch 30. Again, I have many videos out there titled Locations for Holiday Scorch, Locations for Spooky Scorch and such. You could, those, even though it's not that time of year, you could still use those videos to your advantage because I bring you to locations where Scorch are going to spawn. And uh, Tyler County Fairgrounds is just one of those spots. Let's continue on here. There are a couple that we, uh, that we can go after that are remaining. Go ahead here. Oh, yeah. You could call up products here as well. Right? FYI. Again, depends on the server. Nice. He's just a guy out here. There he is, right there. <laughs> Thought he was hiding on me, eh? Alright, that's pretty much all of them here. 
Right, where are we going to go next for our scorched victims? Right up here at good old Wavy Willard's Water Park. Let's pop up here. Right, let's go ahead there. Right there, there we go. Okay, there we go. Oh, 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 you don't want to get the drop on us. <laughs> All right, couple more teddy bears in there. See them? There's a couple more. Uh, Toy vehicles in there for some screws. Let's go underneath the uh, underground here. Be a couple more down here, hopefully. What is going on down here? Why does it look like this down here? That is weird. Didn't mean to pick that up. Yeah, that's a weird lighting effect there coming through the uh, the top there. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen this before. I come here a lot. <laughs> right, so we're 20 for 30. There's just one around the corner. Keep going. Huh, weird. Usually there's a couple uh, right here. Oh, there we go. Good stuff, Jim. Good stuff. Brains all over the wall there. And that's pretty much it for here for the Scorched. Alright, we're pretty much uh, 20, 29 for 30. Let's see here. This is one of his straggler. Isn't that funny? One more. Just one more. Another teddy bear right there. See him? There we go. Well, the score's 30 for 30. Beautiful. Beautiful. Again, you can check out those videos. Even though it's not the time of the year for the spooky Scorch holiday Scorch, you can still watch those videos because they still bring you to all the popular Scorched uh, locations. FYI. All right, what's next here, Jim? Let's keep it rolling here. Go, Blood Eagle 30. So again, Blood Eagles have this type of icon on the map. All right, we can go over some blood eagles here today. Let's um let's go to the kill box. Go down here to the kill box. Again the good thing about these particular challenges is um we can use any weapon we wish and we don't we're not crippling them and stuff like that. So uh 
it uh, kind of leaves it open, which is nice. Nice to have once in a while. All right, let's go ahead here, Jim. Running a little behind here today. Running a little behind. Is that my blood? What did he say? Hairs on my what? Some machine gun. Have a nice life there, bud. See? Missile launcher. These uh, blood eagles. At least uh, two of them are here have uh, missile launchers on. Where's this guy out here? Oh, he's behind me, isn't he? He is. We turned the lights out. I did, I did. Oh, there's a little pop there. Sorry, pop. Did I do that to you? No hard feelings. Oh, where's the other guy at? Oh, hi. Oh, see that? The old slasher coming out there last minute there. Yeah. Okay. The old slasher. Love it. Two stim packs there. Beautiful. All right. Good stuff. All right. Let's keep going here. Let's keep going. Yeah, there's our other uh, guy with the uh, missile launcher on him. As, as I mentioned, is maybe the newer folks won't know who has the missile launchers on them. But if you're playing the game for a little bit, uh, you'll know <laughs> what enemy does. <laughs> oh. Did we get him from here? He did. Got him that time. We got him that time. We're doing good for ammo, so we're not going to bother picking any more up. All right, so that's the uh, the kill box. Pretty good spot, as you can see. Let's go to the pigsty. We'll uh, go up here. Pigsty will at least have a half a dozen or so. Now, sometimes there'll be a couple uh, folks down here. Jeepers! <laughs> okay there, lunatic. <laughs> I'm gonna get right on top of you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you follow me? Man, I'm not gonna bother with that, uh... The ammo I got all kinds on me here. We're just gonna go after these cats, I think. I do. <clears throat> See, there's another. <laughs> See, this guy got a missile launcher on him. He fell. Good stuff. We're in danger still. Sometimes that happens. I come here and uh, I don't know where they are, but it uh, shows that I'm in danger for some odd reason. There's like no one around. I don't know. Alright, what's next here? Uh, let's keep going. We did the kill box already. Uh, let's go to Cliff Watch. Pop up here. That'd be good for. Oh, these up there. Get up. There we go. 20 for 30 now. Sweet. Need 10 more. Let the fast travel to one more spot after this one. Just to give you guys some options, you know, just to see 
Um, more so the difference in the difficulty with them. Where you're at. Kind of deal. More than anything, I guess. Fine. What is going on there? They don't even know what's going on. Did the other guy see the missile launcher on him? He's holding up there. <laughs> you can't see, yeah, yeah. They shot you in the face, that's why. Oh, it's still back, you know. Go to this guy here just to show you. See missile launcher? At least one guy. At least one guy or person, Blood Eagle area will have a missile launcher on them. Alright, uh, what's next here? South uh, Cutthroat Camp, what do we need? Uh, five more, yep, we'll be good. Let's go over here. Again, uh, another thing you can do, and I forgot to mention, uh, what you can always do, let's say you're a very low level, okay? And you're, you know, you don't have many, many caps to fast travel like I am. You can make yourself way down here the kill box, okay? Go through that area, server hop to another server, and do it again. Server hop, that same spot over and over again. Um, Hunter's Ridge, okay? Um, Twin Pine Cabins, you might find five of them there, but again, you can just server hop a couple times until you get the, the, the weekly challenge done. That's always an option. Server hopping is your friend. Okay, it doesn't it doesn't cost you anything by server hopping. The last time we came here, we got uh, murdered by this guy. We got him this time around here. That's good. There you go. Kill Blood Eagle 30 for 30. Done. Rank 65. Love it. Show yourself now. I don't even know what this person does. There they are. Huh? Holy dog. All right, good stuff. There's our Blood Eagle places. What's next here, Jim? Okay, complete an event, three of them. So I made a video three months ago. It's called Complete Events for Newbies. So in that hour and 60, six minutes or so, we did a lot of events. I was on a private server, just like I am now. And the vast majority of those events, I spawned in by myself on that private server. Okay, uh, it can be a little harder to spawn in events if you're on public ones because you don't know when they're spawned in last. Okay, but if you're on a private server, it works very well. It's not 100%. Okay, maybe 99%, <laughs> but pretty close. Most of the time, you can spawn events by yourself. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look at the map here. And there's all kinds. It doesn't have to be a public event. Sometimes they're public events ones with the... Uh, the uh, yellow hexagons with the exclamation mark through them and sometimes they're just events like this right like this gulper horde right and uh you know that's considered an event you can claim a workshop right you can claim any old workshop on the map and when you have to defend that workshop that's considered an event okay uh just uh, give you guys some options okay uh it looks like we're going to be trying to spot in some events ourselves Let's go down here. We're going to do a uh, Mount Blair train yard. So hopefully uh, we'll spawn in the event battle bots. Let's pop down here, see what happens. Good stuff. Battle bot, very easy to do, even if you're a low level player. This guy in the fusion core. Let's get this Mr. Gutsy. Don't forget that uh, bunker card. Okay. Don't forget to pick that stuff up. Pick this stuff up here. Didn't mean to pick up that. Uh... 
Fusion course, drop that. Thank you. Don't forget that. Oh, this guy here's a legendary. Beautiful. What are the odds of that? That uh, that does that's very rare that happens. Interesting. So don't forget to pick up those bunker cards because we're gonna need them for this particular event. Now this is a little bit a uh, of a glitch here, but these doors are supposed to be closed, but you can't even hit that button anyway until you go through the process. Okay, so what we gotta do is we gotta take those two cards and we have to go here and go to the other side. Now some people run, but I recommend walking. Okay, so you start here. It is it is time sensitive. Like you only have a couple seconds, so you just activate, walk to the side. When you get here, you just spam it. And uh, it might take you a couple times to do that, okay? But eventually you'll get it, and it's really easy. Don't run, just uh, just walk, okay? There we go. Um, what do we got in here? It's all right. Oh, yeah, I'll take those, thanks. Loose screw, short jump. Uh, lots of good, lot of goodies in here as well. A lot of goodies in here. Uh, I'm overweight, so I'm going to drop... Um, what was it that we picked up there? There we go. Uh, let's go and try to spawn in another event. We'll try to spawn in an easy one here. Another easy one, vault Agricultural Research Center. It is called Fertile Soil. Let's go up here and see if we can spawn that in by ourselves. And again, not 100%. Most of the time, it's harder to do if you're on a public server, so just keep that in mind. Now this event here is probably one of the first ones you do as a brand spanking new player. Okay. Combat inhibitor, Jim. here to serve where they get killed by these guys jeez all right now go inside now you can go ahead and kill all the robots and one thing good about robots is they have a lot of good stuff on them steel aluminum lead etc uh, but if you're just looking to do the event i recommend coming in up just walk up those stairs you don't need a jetpack like i do you can walk up those stairs go through the top door and just make your way down to the basement just a straight shot here just like this Take care of these ghouls here. Okay, go to this computer. Get out of there, robot. Just like that. Two or three complete. Done. Okay, let's pop over here. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can spawn in another event. Uh, we're going to go right up here to uh, Graft. What's this one here? Uh, that's going to take us a little bit longer. Just looking for a little bit of an easy, uh, quick one here. I don't see any quick ones. All right, so let's pop up here. We'll go to Grafton Station. And uh, we'll try to work our way to Grafton. And hopefully, cross our fingers, we'll get Grafton Day. 50-50 chance Grafton Day or Protest March. But uh, either way, uh, it'll be a third event that we spawn in ourselves. Now, I like to kind of spot in from the Grafton Station side. I just find it's a little bit easier. That's usually where the Grafton Monster is at. And Protest March is just around the corner. As compared to spotting into Grafton itself. And that usually takes you to the other side, the north side. And you got to go through a bunch of super mutants. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can uh, cross our fingers. We get Grafton Day. Protest March. Okay, of course. That's fine. So we spawn this event in ourselves. Let's go ahead here. Make our way over here. Get up on top of this. Get a couple of uh, 
and coffee here and us here. Now the super mutants just happen to be here, okay? Uh, they're not part of protest march, but they just happen to be here and they're going to attack you while you're trying to do this event, so just an FYI. Oh, how he knew where we were. Now the second uh, wave will be some robots mixed in with some uh, scorch, so FYI on that. These are getting a little hairy here. Lots of good stuff here though, lots of uh, carnage going on. What was that? <laughs> Super Mutant having a big old hawker there. All right. Is there other robot there? Protectron. See what else pops up. Oh, there he is right there. Oh, jeez, how are you doing? Ah, scared the uh, Jesus out of me there. Oh, there he is just spotting in there now. There we go. Complete the event. Three for three done. There's protest march. Um, I'm not going to bother. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see what these guys got. I'm pretty close to... Uh, yeah, I'll pick up this ammo, sure. We'll store it away. Oh! Stop him in this track. See you later. Smile you later, buddy. I gotta go. Because my time is almost up here. It's almost time for me to go to bed. <laughs> Been up since 2.30 this morning working. <clears throat> All right. All right. Good stuff here. I think we're done. I think we're done our weekly challenges we are, just like that. And uh, just under an hour, so we'll call it 50, we'll call it 58 uh, minutes. But uh, yeah, there we go. We had our work cut out for us there, but you guys can get these done a lot quicker than me. I'm just doing a lot of extra explaining just because there's so many new people to the game, so FYI on that as well. And we have all week to do the weekly challenges too, so uh, you know, you don't have to get them all done in one video like I did. So there you guys go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you get the chance. It really helps me out. I to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffin, Heather, White Tribe Starman, 138, Robco. Thank you all so very much. And I hope you all have a nice day.